right, so this project, as you can tell, maybe, it's a chicken coop. And we've had this chicken coop a long time. Me and Dad built it years ago, and we haven't had chickens for a long time. So it's just been sitting out back, rotting away. Coons had been up in it, cats, and they uh, have done a number to the overhang there. So we got to repair that on both sides. Uh, it's got a couple battle scars for me putting it on this running gear with the excavator. As you can see, I'm not going to worry too much about the cosmetics. Um, I'm just going to worry more about the functionality. Like this piece of wood here will probably come off because it's in the way. He had like a half inch overhang on the bottom or whatever. So some of that's probably just resting right on the T11 siding. But as you can see, it was on skids and the wood has gone soft and the skids did not hold up to their own anymore. It was actually a struggle to get them to get this out back when I pulled it out back originally. So what we're going to do is, you can see it's on a running gear. This is one of my old hay wagons. This was my short little hay wagon. And it only holds about 100 to 150 bales. So it was kind of a, it was nice when you needed it, but I mean, it's, it's kind of useless otherwise. So I sacrificed it. I took the bed off of it and we're going to make a mobile chicken coop. So. I got a buddy with the sawmill supposed to be cutting me some new beams. I just threw it on here to get it out from out back while the ground was somewhat frozen. So that's why it is the way it is. And uh, he's supposed to be cutting my beams today actually. We'll see if he gets them done. And I need three tires for it because these don't hold air for more than a day. The three that are flat. The one that's holding air is new. Um, a buddy of mine's got a farm shop and they do tires somebody ordered a 14 inch tire and didn't need it so it sat in the back corner forever and he just gave it to me that's that good one back there so i'm going to go up we got a tire shop in town's got a bunch of used tires out back i want to see if he sells his used tires or what he does with them and i just need three that'll hold air and usually if they come into a tire shop they at least held air for a while i guess i mean you're not driving them in on flats although i have seen some crazy stuff where people have driven their cars around with flat tires so but anyways we got a the the trim has separated from everything else in some spots these hinges need oiled we're gonna go i got some 10 i'm gonna cut 10 to fit that probably put 10 up there um, we had a window and a windstorm. These are out of a mobile home or something dad got for free. Had a uh, windstorm take that window. So I'll probably put one of that clear um, plastic over it. Maybe change them if I can find some free windows. Uh, they do crank out, but you gotta have a pair of pliers to do it. Gotta fix that door, fix that, fix that, and get it mounted. So not too big of a project but not a little project either so clean it out because I got about 30 chickens I need to bring over here I've been raising chickens over at my grandpa's I haven't been filming any of that but I got a good deal on 122 chickens at Real King back in October and he's been raising them for me I sold all of them but what I'm keeping somewhere around 30 so we're gonna have chickens again but anyways what i need to do i need to get this jacked up the building and get the running gear back out from underneath of it so what we'll do is i'll probably go back and i'll get the other four by four or the four by six that come off of it so i can put it on jack stands jack that side up then jack this side up rip this one off put this on jack stands and pull the wagon out from underneath of it so I'll get everything rounded up and bring you guys back
Woo. Plenty of nails and screws in these. I have a feeling. This one's got weight on it. Just have that feeling. Maybe not. Okay. Okay, that's enough work for today. <laughs> I got one more leg to knock off on this side. Two more legs, I lied. Phew. I'll get them knocked off and I got two jack stands. I gotta find two more. Get this side done. Whew, I'm out of breath. Okay, we'll catch you in a minute. All right, got the wagon out. What we gotta do now is, this is bolted. These two beams are just bolted on the back here. They're not bolted on the front. Usually, from what I was always told, you bolt caddy corner when you're putting something on a running gear like a, hay wagon body or gravity wagon box you uh, go caddy corner so it can flex so when I put this chicken coop on here permanently that's what I'm gonna do I'm just going to take a lag bolt and put caddy corner so what we got to do though is cut them bolts them's old square headed bolts so that tells you how long ago this was put in or put together I mean look at them ginormous nails they use to hold things together and then we're gonna have to cut this rod and then these beams will go to the junk pile um, oh and another thing that you guys will probably find interesting is this is a Montgomery Ward running gear how many of you seen one of them before so we uh, we'll get them off we'll get the three tires off that need air and uh, tomorrow I'll have to run and see if I can find some tires for it if not I'll buy four new or three new ones probably four because that way I can have a spare um, on a four lug rim I don't have a spare this hay wagon actually I was using tires off of it as spares for a while for my hay mower and my baler and uh, I have a disc my disc is four lug but I didn't use a spare for it um, this running gear is the only one I have that's four lugged and uh, the other one I have with the rack on it all the way around it, it's 14 inch tires, but it's a uh, um, universal rim six lug deal, so I can switch that over to 15 inch tires or whatever, but I won't. I'll just leave the 14 inches on it. But I need a couple four lugged rims for spares. Um, I have a couple extra rims laying around that I've acquired, so. But, like I said, if I can't find used tires for it, new ones are like 40 to 50 bucks each, which is not too bad. I just don't want to be pumping up tires all the time. Because this, eventually the plan was to take this down to the farm down there uh, when I pasture that in. And uh, run chickens around down there. Or I can run them in the pasture over here. Or I can just move it wherever. It just needed to be more movable. The, the skids were about to fall out from underneath of it and if it's muddy you tear stuff up and if it's you just tear stuff up period pulling that thing around and it's, it was too top heavy for them they weren't braced good so it was it was good for what it was when it was first built because we actually built it right here where it sits we drug it around and into the pasture that's behind dad's barn and it sat there until I moved it 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 never moved until I moved it last winter I think because I was going to redo that pasture 
and I'll probably redo that pasture this year so but now I need it and it needs fixed um, the reason it's in the shape that it's in is it was in that goat pasture dad used it for the goats to live under and they would rub on everything and they rubbed the trim off of it they broke the ramp off of it um, the wasn't put together the best you can see that's how far everything was screwed into the plywood so it's no wonder plywood fell off of the trim and stuff but we're gonna go through and redo it to good enough recalk that so the chickens don't get wet if it rains just just give her a a redo nothing nothing crazy I'm not gonna restore it and make it look all pretty I probably won't even paint it but or even put any more trim on it so anyways let me get going on this tires are off so I'll just get them beamed off there when I get the excavator up this way eventually tomorrow we'll go find some tires and maybe tonight I'll try taking these off see what kind of luck we have I'll have to buy some valve stems because if you're gonna put new tires on you might as well put new valve stems in they're pretty cheap don't need them things leaking and have to beam out the tire again so we'll have to use the excavator as our bead breaker that works about the best but now I'm going to feed and we're going to put this project on hold and uh, I'm going to work on some other stuff. So, catch you guys later. Alright, so it's a couple days later. I, uh, you can see we got four tires on the wagon. I didn't video mounting those. I was going to video doing the one and I completely forgot because I was in the swing of things. But if you want to see somebody struggle with two tire spoons and putting tires on rims I'm sure you can find plenty of videos on YouTube of somebody struggling with those because it was a struggle for a couple of these uh, one that one demounting it I there I mounted it and it leaked so I had to demount it to put some sealer in it and I used ether to get it on because a ratchet strap wouldn't work and uh, it must have heated it up enough that it really stuck to the uh, the bead stuck to the rim because when I went to demount it with the excavator I couldn't get the bead to pop so I hit it with a sledgehammer and I missed and I had to uh, heat that up and fix it and I had to do another spot on it which is why I had to demount it because it was bent right there and leaking air but they're all holding air no leaks now so I got those two mounted and I mounted uh, or didn't mount but I took another one off the hay mower over there and fixed it so I got two spares now and uh, I had another one in the pile that was actually good that uh, I got from somewhere so but I got six tires I got a matching set of four on there and I got a matching set of two in the barn that I didn't have to mount because I had enough enough good tires on four lugged rims to uh, have spares so but we got our beams here freshly milled today between mountain tires yesterday and helping my buddy cut wood for six hours today um, I'm pretty sore <laughs> so instead of going with an 8x8 I went with a 8x6 to cut down weight a little bit and these are 16 foot I was gonna go with 12 um, but I figured we'll put the 16s on there that might give me enough to put a walk plank on the front and a plate on the back to put like a 55 gallon drum for water and a box for feed maybe so we will uh, get these unstrapped and set over there on the running gear and get them measured up how I'd like and start mounting stuff down got to make mounts to mount the wagon or the coop to the beams so that'll be four pieces of angle iron that I'll have to cut and drill and 
should get her mounted up here maybe in a couple hours. Okay, the beams are off the track. Not without incident though. We uh, we had one one get away from us, and look what I did to my poor truck. Oh, it it's not that bad, but it's not that good either. This this headache rack I'm not a fan of because it's sloped, and freshly cut wood's not exactly what do I want to say very grippy so it slid I lost it and it slid and it hit the cab uh, this poor truck well that's the first dent that I've put in the cab you guys might remember this one that was the first one I put in the bed two weeks after I bought it at least I've had it like three years now so anyways we're gonna walk away from that and we're gonna go over to here and look at these beams. Look at these beautiful beams. One of you has red paint on you now, and I think it was this one. You. Anyways, I gotta get a tape measure and measure where I want these to sit at. I'll probably push it under there, and I'm thinking now that we have all four good tires on it that it's not gonna be high enough. So. Probably gonna have to get the ye old floor jack out and crank her up some more. So, let me do some fitting. I probably won't do a lot of filming because it's windy. You guys probably can't hear it because I do have a dead cat on my mic, but it's windy. And in the fact that, or in the case that you can hear the wind, I don't want you guys listening to a bunch of wind noise. So, we're just gonna get at her. Okay, I got it where I think I want it. I got a screw. In the front side of this beam holding it to the wagon and a screw in the back side of this beam I just used these like a big lag screw deal I figure you don't need much so I got about 10 inches sticking out in the front I'm gonna put a board across there I got some rough sawn wood um, probably cut it down to like 12 inches and stick on there and then I can put a block under the tongue step on the tongue up onto there or I can put a little step over there and I got plenty sticking out of the back here because what I'd like to do is add a platform for a 55 gallon drum of water and maybe a box for feed or something and then I can just make a ramp to come off or whatever figure something out there but what I need to do now is make some brackets to hold this puppy down, set it down on there and get it bolted up and uh, then I can pull it out back to the other barn where I have my rough sawn wood and I can start making platforms and stuff for it. So let me find some angle iron and we will go to the shop and make some brackets. All right, it's been probably, I don't know, a month since I finished this chicken coop and I've just not recorded the end of the video. Uh, I was working on it when it was still getting dark early and I just never got the camera out to record. I just wanted to get it done and I got it pretty much as done as I'm going to do it for now. Um, I don't remember exactly where I left off in filming. I think it was with the tires. We got the tires on. Oh no, the tires were first. It was the beams, because I dropped the beam on my truck. Yeah, I'm still not happy about that. But I got, we got the chicken coop on the beams. I got our board on the back here. This is where I'd like to put a water jug and run it down underneath. And if I need to put a barrel of feed, point the camera the right way put a barrel of feet on here or something I can I cut that much off the back I didn't cut anything off the front made a ramp got a little door mocked up I haven't fixed anything up at the top yet I probably won't get to that for a while this side's open it's just ventilation nothing can really get in there um, I fixed this lid we got chickens in it now they're not laying yet they need to hurry up 
no eggs. Had two pieces of this. I didn't realize it, but that one's been cut. If I would have had two full pieces, probably would have covered that, but like I said, it's just ventilation. Got our step on the front. Ooh, get up in here. I moved the door handle down because this is eye level with me right here. Dad put this together years ago and he's like Andre the Giant, so. I used to, this is actually a little bit higher than what it was when it was on the stilts. You'd have to have a stool to get up in it. But we made this roost here. And I'm hanging that feeder from it temporarily. I got outdoor feeders. I haven't let these guys out yet. We got the bird flu going around. I don't know if I want to let them out yet, but I don't have, I'm not out here in the morning to let them out. I want to get one of them automatic doors. And some nights I'm not here late enough to let them in. So, these are, uh, well, Summers are the brown ones. Those are, let me think, let me think. I'm drawing a blank. Um, silver lace wine dots. That's what they are. Rooster, hens. That's a leghorn. Um, I got a couple chickens up in the goat barn that need to make their way back here. Um, and then the rest of them that are up there, the little ones, they're, they're going to leave. I'm tired of them pooping on everything in the goat barn. So, but the the ones that are up there are Americanas. But I, I bought all these chickens at Real King a while ago. Um, I bought 122. A uh, bunch of different breeds. And uh, my grandpa raised them up for me. And I kept what I wanted out of them. I kept all the Silver Lace wine dots, And I kept all the well summers and sold the rest I think I got about 30 chickens here so sold a lot that actually when I sold them it paid for all the chickens and then some Ooh, closed door but there's there's the finale for the chicken coop video haven't had any of the tires go flat which is good I had uh, not a lot of money invested in this project because I worked for my buddy sawmill in the beams this set of tires what I pay for them 50 bucks for four and then I paid 40 bucks for two other tires that I ended up putting on some farm equipment but 14 inch tires are getting hard to come by so we'll go up here to the goat barn we'll include this little bit in the video show you what's going on up here I haven't showed you guys any of the livestock stuff for a while. I've been been down to just a few goats um, for a while. I had a little Dexter cow that was supposed to be bred. Um, I shared her on Instagram, I think. She ended up dying. Got into some uh, nightshade. There's two of the chickens that'll go back in a coop. They see me coming. I think they're going to get fed. I need to capture them and throw them in there. Them two white ones, they're going to get sold. I don't want them. All these little ones running around, they're getting out of here. I'm tired of them. I had them all back there. They were in there for like a week. And as soon as I opened, I did let them out one time. Dad actually let them out. And all these stupid things come back up here. But they poop all over everything. So, here's one goat. We've had this one a while. I think you've probably seen her. But... She's hiding. Today is, what's today? Today's Tuesday, Saturday night. Saturday night she had a little doe. So this will probably be the only goat kid we get this year. The other goat out here, I don't think it's bred. If she was, she would be due any day now, but she don't, don't look like it. Where's she hiding at? Oh, she's out there. And we got some new additions over here. I bought these probably about a month ago or so. Three uh, Jersey Angus Cross heifers. I had a little Hosting, Jer or Hosting Angus Cross and I ended up selling him. I uh, had a deal I couldn't turn down, so 
I advertised him on Facebook for a little bit more than I paid for him and somebody accepted what I had going and I sold him and then bought these three so these are gonna go in the freezer eventually I know I'll have I'll have a whole one killed and then uh, I think my grandpa wants half to a quarter and I'm sure I can sell the other part of one and I can probably sell another whole one somewhere but these have been growing really good I'm really really happy with these I had uh, Hosteen Jersey crosses years ago haven't had a Hosteen Angus haven't eaten one of them yet had the opportunity but like I said sold that so we're gonna try some Jersey Angus see how they turn out but they are heifers I was hoping for some steers but it is what it is you buy what's right at the time actually the day I bought these I could have bought a fourth one that matched it looked a little off I could have got it for half price of what I paid for these and then right after them four sold was 10 I think it was 10 hosting calves come through sold together for exactly what I paid for these three all 10 of them one lump it was like 54 cents a pound they brought and I paid 90 cents for them three 600 just under $600 for them three so the other one sold right at I mean it was right at the same price for huh, it could have been six six or ten I don't remember it'd been so long ago but I was kicking for not buying them too because I could have sold them and paid for everything the life of a wheeler and dealer it, it's a life let me tell you Casey was mad when I sold the first one she told me I couldn't sell these three or we'd probably get a divorce so guess what we're hanging on to these three for now but anyways that's the end of the chicken coop video I got that wrapped up finally gave you guys a glimpse into the livestock we got going on here probably have some goat milk and videos come out Casey's been uh, last year she was doing goat milk and making soap and stuff we were hoping both would be bred but looking like we only got one we need to get a couple more goats get the numbers back up but we just been kind of chilling so anyways we'll catch you guys on the next one